So Fetusaran is a very exciting drug. It is a, a what we call an siRNA. So it actually suppresses the production uh, of antithrombin. So you are essentially made to be antithrombin deficient. And it turns out if you balance that with having hemophilia, um, the balance between thrombosis and hemostasis becomes rather even so that you don't have bleeds and you don't have thrombosis. Um, there have been some uh, small reports of thrombosis, but that occurred primarily in people whose levels went below 20 uh, and of any thrombin. So if you can maintain a level, and they did a lot of remediation, other things that we don't need to talk about, but bottom line, if you can maintain a level above 20, not use other factor products, or if you use them, use them in small amounts, uh, it's a very safe approach. And what's very nice about it is subcutaneous. It can be used either every four weeks or every eight weeks. Uh, it is useful in hemophilia A or B with or without inhibitors. And for many of us who have patients with hemophilia B and inhibitors, it is a godsend because there is nothing else that works. Uh, and uh, it, it we've taken patients to surgery. Over 200 surgeries have been done with Fetusaran. Uh, it, it is truly amazing because you, for minor surgeries, you don't need to do anything. For major surgeries, orthopedic surgery, use a very small dose, like 25% one time and then a couple additional doses over that next week. Very, very low dose. It's actually easier than managing factor patients on factor. I, I really do mean that. Uh, anyway, so we have done that. Uh, and, and there are, uh, it, it's just a wonderful potential drug out there. And one of the other interesting things coming out of that and other meetings uh, here is that women are usually left out of these studies. It's mostly about severe hemophilia, yet heavy menstrual bleeding is a major problem for women with bleeding disorders. And the question becomes, with all of these novel therapies we're developing, aren't any of them potentially tenable in these patients as well? Including, for example, the new Altuvio, which is a von Willebrand factor bound factor eight, which is a very exciting approach to managing a hemophilia with a once uh, a week IV treatment that maintains higher levels. And wouldn't that be wonderful once a month to take it on that week, you have your cycle and reduce your bleeding. Because many women are not responding to standard DDAVP and other tranexamic acid and other agents. So that it, it's, uh, it's about time we do those things.